Hello and welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. In this episode we're going to take a look at the Matchbox 2006 Showroom, showroom Cars 5-pack. This was the second 5-pack of 2006. All the cars in this 5-pack are exclusive to this 5-pack, so these were not available in the Mainline series. Uh, these were all new castings in 2005. I have uh, other versions to show of all these models. Three of the five I have the first release. So let's first take a look at the five pack itself. It's the uh, older style one so you have a opening in the back. You can even grab the cars in there so there's no plastic uh, for uh, closing this up here. So it is kind of like a Norif style or an old Norif style packaging. Not much else to see there. There's no names or anything on the five pack on the cardboard. So these always have a a protective cover on top like that. Let's take a look at the top one. Mercedes SL55 AMG. So this is in 1 to 61 scale. No tail lights unfortunately. Although I could use some because the this metallic wine red or burgundy, whatever you want to call it, is quite different from the red that would be used on the taillights. So it does have the Mercedes emblem, the star license plate, SL55 AMG, and the exhausts are part of the gray base. Very nicely done lace style wheels and then the headlights and the grille are tampoed a window and a grey interior nicely detailed very nice model next up we have the Shelby Cobra concept this is 1, one to 60 scale it's kind of a yeah, shiny black but not metallic. It's got the uh, silver go faster stripes, racing stripes, headlights, it's got some taillight deco and it's got the uh, fuel filler cap. Also got a nice interior. The seat belts are molded into the plastic. Also got the lace wheels. And we got the Mitsubishi Eclipse concept. So here we get the tail lights in silver. I don't know if that's accurate to the concept car. Got the chrome patch here at the Eclipse name, the Mitsubishi logo. And here also a lot of detail. The logo, the headlights, and even a silver piece here. It's got a detailed interior, but it's hard to see because of the the black top. Then we got the 2005 Ford GT. Sadly, no rear detail. Do get the headlights, the Ford logo, and the racing stripes on top. You can see the engine through the cover. So got the lace style wheels. And the last one, Porsche Cayenne. A very nice blue. Cayenne Turbo, I think it is. Did I look at the bottom of this one? I forget. So um, this says 2005 Ford GT 
and the scale is 162. And this is the turbo version in 166 scale. So when I came home with this one, I thought some paint, paint had rubbed off here where you see the silver, but turns out they all have that. Tail lights, Cayenne Turbo on the tailgate, license plate and the exhaust that is part of the base again. Like when they do that. Looks good. Headlights and the Porsche emblem in the front. A light colored interior. So we can at least have a good look at it. Nice one. <clears throat> then let's take a look at some alternate versions. This one, I have the first release in silver. This is a 2005 release, obviously, like I said. This is an American card, long card. So it also has the uh, lace style wheels. Again, no uh, tail light stamp out. It does get the little stoplight in the middle, a cell 55 AMG and the license plate. This time the base is in chrome so you get some chrome exhaust. That looks great. And in the front no deco unfortunately so a uh, little bit disappointing deco wise, tempo wise but all in all it is a nice model. Then we got the Cobra. So this is the one from the five pack. I don't have an old version from it because I don't really collect this model. I only have this one from another five pack. That's the only way I uh, I get these models. It's a 2016 release. So it's got the uh, modern style wheels on it. Uh, they are much nicer in my opinion. So it just gets a side deco. Nothing exciting there. Then for the uh, Eclipse concept, well, I don't know if it's a concept really. I just, I, I called it a concept, but maybe this has been released as this, uh, as it is, but I'm not sure about that. I've never seen it here in Europe. Uh, maybe it was uh, released in the United States. So again here, first release 2005, American card. So you got uh, pretty much the same deco as uh, the white one, the metallic white one from the five pack, but it's a little bit harder to see the silver details on this uh, kind of uh, which, uh, kind, this kind of color. I don't know what you would call this. It's a strange color. And also have a blue mar blue one that is much nicer. This is a 2008 release. So this one has much nicer wheels also. Has more detailed tail lights. The rest is the same. And also the headlights are more detailed. The rest is the same too. They all have this same light colored interior which is good because of the dark roof. Then we got the Ford GT and its alternate colors I want to show. Here is the first release, 2005 release. Very nice red color, got the same lace style wheels, no deco in the back, just headlights Ford logo in the front and the racing stripes on top. And also you got this version. So this is a 2008 release also. So it's got the black rims 
I think these are the same rims as this one but then without the chrome on it no tail lights does get headlights Ford logo a racing number 56 and the racing stripes on top and the fuel filler cap well they all have that apparently I did not notice that but they all have the fuel filler cap it gets a tempo that is nice and then the last one is the Porsche Cayenne Turbo I have this alternate version this is a 2007 release in silver got these 4x4 style wheels on it the lights can turbo in black and a license plate that says Z pole something I don't know what's in front of it Z pole but the more detailed well no it's the same detail on the headlights as the blue one these were also pretty detailed Porsche logo this one does have a darker interior so it's hard to see in there no post in the back just um, the rivet post is here on the tailgate it's a much better way of doing things than they do nowadays in my opinion but who am I right so that's it for this episode I thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already hope to see you again next time Bye-bye.